Hi everyone, uh, today we've got the um, Top Dawn Art Diag 600. It's a, um, I'd say just above entry level machine uh, for diagnostics on motor vehicles. Um, and it's, you know, as, as described on the front of the box, it's a mid-range diagnostics tool. Um, <clears throat> it's a uh, compact, not as bulky to carry as some of the others that you have. Um, it's not one that comes in a tough shell. Um, more a carry case. Um, it measures roughly about 20 centimetres in length um, and about 15 centimetres in height. So it's it's fairly small sort of thing that you could keep in your glove box or in a car or van or in a motorhome. Um, whilst you're on the go, easy enough to plug in. Um, I haven't opened this yet. It's, it's literally just come in directly from me to Amazon. Um, and I thought I'd buy it to keep in the vehicle rather than having to grab it from the house or office or workshop every time you need a diagnostics tool um, and when you need a quick plug-in um, this this is the tool that you need um, <coughs> on the box not much information on there but it's um, you know it's it's the 600 and um, there is a 600 s there's not a mu much between them they are very similar in what they do um, this one, I believe, comes with lifetime free updates, which is always handy. Um, sometimes the updates outweigh the cost of a new machine. So um, we'll go ahead, we'll unbox this, we'll have a look at it inside. Um, so we've got a, a lightweight case um, in which it comes, double zip, you could padlock it. But I mean, this set me off, uh, I think it's about just under £200, maybe about £179.99. Um, and I think it's, you know, a worthwhile machine to have. Um, the sort of machine you can pass around family friends and not worry about you know someone mishandling it or not using it correctly um it's not the end of the world um if it came back or got knocked about um package fairly securely um this Comes in a clear plastic wrapper, obviously something you'd probably dispose of or discard of. It's not something we need to keep, um, but here we have it. It's, uh, like you said, just the size of your hand or your palm. It's easy enough to hold and carry. Um, I believe it's touch screen. Um, it does charge off of USB-C um, and off the OBD2, so you can keep it fully charged. Um, and then you can flip it back. You can see there it's a wired machine it's not a bluetooth one um but yeah we'll power it on hopefully it's been shipped to us charged by top don or amazon um there we go it's a 2024 top don machine um and it's just powering up you can watch the bootloader time um the main screen not too bad i suppose a couple of seconds um for it to load as, as a diagnostics machine and uh, yeah we've turned it on There is a clear protective wrap you can see on the screen, so it can be removed, but I'll leave it on for now. Um, and yeah, this, well, this is the initial setup, so I'm sure this isn't too too difficult to do, but you've got the toggle buttons on the side here. Um, and we've also got touch screen, so two options. Um, and yeah, you can, you can use the touch screen in the same way you can use the toggle buttons, which is obviously a bit easier. Uh, choose your country and region, English United Kingdom where we're based um, set in the time zone which is fine choose next um, and then there's a Wi-Fi setup um, I will enter the Wi-Fi key off screen um, it's just easier to do it it's not something you can skip unfortunately so uh, we will go straight in key that in choose OK There you go, it's just connecting. It's connected, I'll choose next on that screen, off the screen, there we go. And now it's booting straight in. Um, so obviously you've got the updates, it's pinged up straight away, do you want to update, fix bug system fixes and stuff. Um, we'll go in, we'll download the firmware, quite a heavy weight application, but I'm sure it'll download fairly quick. We're on a just under 800, just over 800 meg connection here. Um, so it shouldn't take too long to download. Um, obviously Wi-Fi dependent. Uh, we'll come back after that update's done and have a, another look at the machine. 
So it's just finished updating the uh, software which it requested um, with the bug fixes. Um, so it's now just loading, um, I believe. It's just going through a reboot. Um, so we'll see what comes up after this. Um, I'm hoping I don't have to go through the registration. I could probably just use a tablet. Oh, here we go. It's just installing the, the, the system update that it downloaded. Um, it was just shy of 900 meg, so it was quite a big one, but it seems to be going on quite quick. Um, I mean, for a small tablet, whatever tablet is behind this, uh, tough case is, um, you know, it's a, it's a fairly stable connection and, and yeah, it seems to be a fairly fast tablet. So um, I'm sure if you took this outer case enough, it would expose a tablet. Um, looks like there is a, a speaker there, so that's, that's handy as well. So um, I'm sure this tablet's probably got Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Uh, maybe in the future they might release some additional packages you can add onto it, so that would be handy as well. Um, it's a, uh, you know, it's a, uh, it's. I, I wouldn't expect the world from it, but it seems as though it's it's a good tablet for what you know they would. I'm sure they would have thought out um, the exact specification of the tablet and making it a bit future proof in terms of the size of the updates as they get a bit, bit bigger. But we'll, we'll see if we can explore the tablet in more depth. Um, in the previous videos I've always looked at diagnostics, but we'll, we'll see what, if we can find out about this tablet and see what information it has got. So there we go, tablet's now loaded, um, seems to have uh, come back to the screen. So this is the, the sort of screensaver screen, um, or lock screen. Um, we'll unlock it, there we go, um, and we can get straight into it. So without needing to register. We can have a look at the diagnostics, uh, user info, etc., input, output, and OBD, maintenance, battery voltage. So as I said, with our add-ons, um, there are add-ons available directly from Topdon. And it normally, it, you know, it's normally a case of um, needing to uh, register these devices and then they allow you to go in. Um, tablet is fast. It is a good tablet. Um, I'm going to try and exit the app and see if I can find out any information about the actual tablet and the hardware itself. Um, I think that's always handy to know. Uh, let's have a quick look. So here we go. Um, we've managed to get in um, and here we can see the storage. So I'm interested to know how much space we have. There we have it. So we've still got 11 gig left. Um, I know I haven't updated all the vehicles and the features, but this is a 32 gig tablet. Um, I mean, it's not an Apple tablet, as you can tell, it's an Android of some um, some description. Um, but it's pretty amazing that you can buy a diagnostics equipment, piece of equipment, and it costs you less than 200 pounds, got 32 gig storage on it um, with Wi-Fi. So I said it's an Android tablet, which we know is a top down pad. Um, it's obviously something they've just rebranded to their own. But it's it's very impressive that they they've given you not only diagnostic software with free updates for life, but also a tablet that is um, you know can, could be used for other things if you if you if you so wish. Um, so it all depends you know how you wish to use a tablet, but you could use this just for surfing the internet as well as um, using it for as a as a diagnostics tablet. Um, it's entirely up to you how you use it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's 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 very interesting that they've they've given a tablet and it, and it's got such good hardware um, from the off. You know, you're not having to plug in an additional SD card or anything like that. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll update it and I'll see what comes out of it. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll run a quick diagnostics um, on a vehicle just to see how we, how it performs. So we now have the uh, tablet updating. Um, as you can see, there's good vehicle coverage. We've got most of the common ones, the Bath, Bentley, Benz, Bugatti, um, which is part of the VAG group. Um, a lot of the Japanese markets covered, Fiat, Honda, Lexus, Nissan as well. European market, Peugeot and Porsche, um, Smart, Sprinter, Subaru, Toyota. So the coverage seems very similar to that of the launch and the, um, the other top down machines. I'm guessing this tablet just runs a lighter weight version of the diagnostics um, in terms of what it does. Um, it is a great little device. I mean, if it has the same coverage, well, that would be amazing too. 
Um, the screen size is smaller, it's probably no bigger than an iPhone um, <laughs> once you've actually got the viewing area exposed. Um, seems to be working well, um, it's downloading the way through Wi-Fi at the moment um, and yeah we'll leave that to update and I'll come back and as soon as it's updated I'll, I'll make a quick video on, on it running a diagnostics on a vehicle. Next we're to uh, run a diagnostic on this vehicle. Um, as you can see we've got the diagnostics machine here. I'm trying to do it sort of hands free uh, by leaving it hanging off the OBD port. So bear with me. Uh, choose diagnostics. Uh, find the vehicle. This is a Nissan. It's a 2017. It's one I've scanned in a previous video. Still haven't fixed the fault. Uh, and I know what the fault is. It should be a downstream sensor. So let's see if we can pick it up. We'll run it on a manual. Um, it has got auto in this, so you should be able to read it off. Uh, see if it reads successfully. Just picking up the bin. Oh, failed to read it, so we'll just choose read once more, see if it picks it up. If not, we'll just choose the manual with the vehicle manually itself. Okay, so we'll go. Oh. So now we'll go back, manual Europe. If we know what it is, uh, we're in the United Kingdom. On UK off the list and find the X Trail. There we go. It's T32, we know that it's a 2017, as I mentioned. So, 2017, there we go. Found that. <coughs> Established communication, run auto scan. As you can see, it is a very fast machine. I mean, it's faster than some of the larger top top machines, which is quite surprising. We should hit auto scan, we should have some faults come up. I mean, the speed of that is just phenomenal um i've had diagnostics machines and they've been slow but that was incredibly quick to scan a whole car um click read uh, read the fault codes and i did say there was a downstream sensor there we go knew it was going to be that so what a machine I'm, I'm i'm mega impressed by that that speed was just unbelievable i've run it on another machine before and it took about five minutes but that was just lightning um we'll clear that down Yes, uh, turn the ignition off, it says. So we'll turn the ignition off. Wait five seconds, it says. And we'll hit OK. Hit OK. It says there's no trouble codes now, special function. So you can do all your typical functions, oil service, DPF replacement, regeneration, enter injectors. So it seems like it can do quite a lot of functions. Um, it's always uh, good to see that we can scan lots. So things that don't exist also come up. Um, obviously this is a very quick test, but I'm very impressed at the speed of this machine. Um, this will probably be the go-to one that you pull out before any of the bigger ones. Yeah, thanks for watching, like, share and subscribe.